the 33-year-old refused to appear in the dock as the verdict was read out at Manchester Crown Court. Neonatal nurse Lucy Letby has been found guilty of murdering seven babies and trying to kill another six. After more than 20 days of deliberating, a jury at Manchester Crown Court found the 33-year-old guilty of murdering the infants at the Countess of Chester Hospital. Jurors found her guilty of seven murders and an additional six attempted murders today, making her the UK's most prolific. Modern Child Serial Killer The jury had been told a majority verdict would be accepted on each of the 22 counts let by faced, with the prosecution claiming she attempted to murder some babies multiple times. The jurors failed to reach a verdict on the eight of the remaining charges, and cleared her of the attempted murder of one other baby, child H. Letby had denied the seven counts of murder and 15 counts of attempted murder between June 2015 and June 2016. The verdict marks the end of one of Britain's longest-running murder trials with the case, which began in October 2022 when it was scheduled to take six months, lasting more than nine, during the trial Letby, from Hereford, was said to have deliberately harmed babies in her care in various ways, including by injecting air intravenously and administering air and or milk into the stomach via nasogastric tubes, she was also said to have added insulin as a poison to intravenous feeds. Interfered with breathing tubes and inflicted trauma in some cases, let by denied all the allegations as she gave evidence in the witness box for 14 days during the trial, she denied doing anything harmful to any child and explained away the sudden collapses and deaths saying they could have been due to natural causes, or for some unascertained reason, or from failure by others to provide appropriate care. The defense said she was a hardworking, dedicated and caring nurse who loved her job, towards the end of her time working as a nurse. The media is restricted from reporting the names of the children, however their real names have been used in court. In a statement, Pascal Jones, senior Crown prosecutor with the complex casework unit of CPS Mirza Cheshire, said Letby did her utmost to conceal her crimes and weaponized her craft. Duh. Ms. Jones said, Lucy Letby was entrusted to protect some of the most vulnerable babies. Little did those working alongside her know that there was a murderer in their midst. She did her utmost to conceal her crimes, by varying the ways in which she repeatedly harmed babies in her care. She sought to deceive her colleagues and pass off the harm she caused as nothing more than a worsening of each baby's existing vulnerability. In her hands, innocuous substances like air, milk, fluids or medication like insulin would become lethal. She perverted her learning and weaponized her craft to inflict harm, grief and death. Time and again, she harmed babies, in an environment which should have been safe for them and their families. Parents were exposed to her morbid curiosity and her fake compassion. Too many of them returned home to empty baby rooms. Many surviving children live with permanent consequences of her assaults upon their lives. Her attacks were a complete betrayal of the trust placed in her. My thoughts are with families of the victims who may never have closure, but who now have answers to questions which had troubled them for years. Following the verdict, Deputy Senior Investigating Officer Detective Chief Inspector Nicola Evans said police would now focus on the families of the babies. She said, Today is not a time for celebration. There are no winners in this case, our focus right now is very much on the families of the babies. The compassion and strength shown by the parents and wider family members has been overwhelming, today is all about them and we must not lose sight of that. I cannot begin to imagine how the families in